In 1997, the world witnessed a groundbreaking event in artificial intelligence. IBM's Deep Blue defeated world chess champion Garry Kasparov in a six-game match. Deep Blue was not just any computer. It was a supercomputer powered by 480 specialized chess processors capable of evaluating 200 million chess positions per second. Unlike earlier chess computers that analyzed moves step by step, Deep Blue was designed to think in multiple directions simultaneously, using hundreds of processors to rapidly explore millions of possible moves at once. Furthermore, to decide on the best move, Deep Blue looked through a massive number of possible future moves, far more than a human could. It used a method called brute force, where it tried out as many options as possible within a short period of time. But it didn't just look ahead randomly. It followed a smart strategy known as Minimax, which helped it choose moves that gave it the best chance to win while limiting its opponent's opportunities to gain an advantage. But Deep Blue didn't stop at just calculating moves. It also judged each possible position based on fundamental chess ideas. It considered things like how valuable each player's pieces were, how freely the pieces could move around the board, and which player controlled the central area, a key strategic advantage in chess. By combining incredibly fast and smart calculations with chess knowledge programmed by experts, Deep Blue didn't just win a chess match, it proved that artificial intelligence could surpass human intuition, reshaping how our perception of machine intelligence was about to change forever.